guys, it's Justine, and today I am so excited because we have got four different drones that we're gonna be testing out. The new Mavic Air just came out, so we're gonna test that in comparison to the Mavic Pro Platinum, the DJI Spark, and the Phantom 4 Pro Advanced. And here's our little Mavic Air, my precious. I've never even seen that movie, so I don't even get the reference. <laughs> so right now I'm updating one of the apps before we go, and then we're gonna start flying. I got two phones, one for my friends, one for my drone. <laughs> drones lined up we're gonna do a quick little test basically just getting a nice little camera view here without anything moving I do have to shoot the spark separately because it connects to Wi-Fi and all of these things are interfering with it so first we'll shoot these three then the spark hopefully it'll sort of look the same record record phantom record are we 4k 30 4k 30 I'm gonna do a quick little walk in front of it got the Mavic Pro Platinum out right now and one of the things that was new about this is it supposedly is 40% quieter and listening to it now it is a lot more quiet even than the Mavic Air So after reviewing the footage from all four of the drones, one of the things that I was most shocked at was the variance in color between the four. I put everything on auto, auto color balance, auto exposure, pretty much everything so that you guys can see exactly what you would be getting directly out of the drones. One of the things that I thought though was kind of shocking is the best auto color came from the Spark. I've even noticed differences between the two of the same exact drones, like my sister, we both have a Mavic Pro, and even flying those on seemingly the same settings, sometimes I'll be like, this looks different than yours. So I feel like that's something that's pretty common, but what's great is you can pretty much customize anything. So depending upon what the light is like, so you can set the color balance to match wherever you are. Another cool thing that we tried out in Malibu is Nathan was flying his Phantom 4 and he added a LUT on to his footage. So he was doing this in camera on the drone, so basically what I'm gonna show you now is what he shot. This is right from the drone to your eyes. I am doing no color correction. This all happened real time. My personal philosophy on shutter speed for drones is that you should actually shoot with a slower shutter speed. So if you're filming at 30 frames a second, it's not a bad idea to film at a 30th of a second. 
So you have to have neutral density filter. When the drone is moving through space, you're taking pictures as you shoot video. So it feels steppy. As you watch playback of a drone with a sharp shutter that's moving fast, it feels like bup, 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 bup. So I started the day with my ND filter. This is the DJI and this is the 8 filter. So far there aren't any available yet for the Mavic Air, but I do use them when I'm flying with my Mavic or my Phantom, especially on sunny days because it makes a huge difference. One of the things that I forgot to mention on the Mavic Air review is they have two new smart capture features. They have the asteroid and boomerang. So basically the drone will do a set flight pattern and it'll save that right to your phone so you're able to share that out immediately. So I'd say my favorite is probably the asteroid, so basically the drone follows the flight pattern directly up, so it does a really cool spherical shot of everything around you. Also boomerang, it just takes off and creates a boomerang pattern. So it goes up, out, and then back directly where it started. So far I'm loving the Mavic Air, it's amazing, but the only problem is the battery life. It does only last 21 minutes, which is still a fair amount of flight time, but I'm so used to having extra batteries, and for this I only had one, so I've been struggling and shooting this video for the past like week and a half, because every time I go to film, I only have like 21 minutes until I can go back and charge the battery. Right now the sun is going down, my battery's dead, so whatever I shot is whatever I shot. The batteries die very, very quickly, so I definitely recommend if you are going to be getting this, do get the Fly More package. It is worth the extra money for the extra batteries because you're gonna need them. Hey Jen, do you think that I could have that uh, that time lapse you're shooting? Oh, I'll buy you dinner, I'll buy you dinner! Oh my goodness. Guys, this time lapse is courtesy of It's Me Jenna E YouTube channel. Go subscribe. Hey, uh, did you let me see the new drone or fly the new drone yes. at all? Not yet, I'm sorry. This is gonna cost you. Dinner. This is, this is It's Me Jenna E hard work. I press the button.